Hello and welcome back to episode 11 of Unknown to World Known. We're back with England once again in the European Championships. As mentioned, I have played the Israel game because it was inconsequential, especially when you go ahead and win it 4-1. Uh, PSA getting another two goals to his tally, which means he's on nine for the tournament. The record is nine. And today we're playing Ireland and hopefully a quarter final as well. So PSA is on the verge of making history and we've only done the group stage. Let's go and see how we get on against Ireland. So I look forward to today, we've got Ramsdale in goal, a back four of Howarf, Iron, Tamori and Dingwell. Rice is to hold a midfield with Bellingham and Froden in front of him, Greenwood on the right, Sancho on the left, and PSA up front. So I've taken a little bit of rotation in. Trent is rested and Tong is rested. They're both still on their yellow card, would see them miss a game. So my thinking here is I'm quite confident we can beat Ireland. So rest the guys that could get a suspension and then hopefully we won't need them. And that way they will be available for the quarterfinal as long as we get through. Greenwood plays it back to Rice. I think we need... Nope, we're on key highlights. We're all good. Iron is bringing it inside. Finds Sancho, who's going to try and take on his man. He goes down in the box under challenge from Harper. Oh, I think that is going to be a, be a penalty. And... There we are, it is a penalty. And is it PSA who's going to step up to take it? No, it's Foden, okay. However, Foden makes it 1-0. Two minutes in, well, less than two minutes into the game. And we found our way into the lead. We don't need to watch a replay of a penalty. We can move on swiftly. We've got another highlight coming in. As the ball gets cleared, Howarth has nicked it straight away and very nearly found a killer ball. But Parrot is in behind here and Iron has dealt with that. Played it back to Ramsdale and we're able to bring it out. One thing that does concern me with this England team is Ramsdale still being the best goalkeeper. Because we're in 2032, you would have thought by now a nation like England would have a new goalkeeper coming through. We don't appear to have that really. Well done from Bellingham there to get the ball back and play it to Greenwood. And he has gone all the way and made it 2-0. And already it's looking a little bit like this could be another slaughter. Just Greenwood running with the ball. Nobody can get close to him. And what a finish, as you'd expect from Mason Greenwood. And now we've got another highlight. Sancho now playing inside Foden. It's back to Rice. He finds how off. Oh, and he hits the post. It's nearly free. We have got a corner, however. And Foden is going to send this one in. And it's headed away by Highland, but straight back to Foden, who sends it back in towards the far post, and Bellingham needed to keep that down. Doesn't manage to do so, unfortunately. But I don't think I've ever seen a game where 15 minutes in, there's been an XG of, of 1.6. That, that's really high, considering how early on in the game we are. It's now a highlight for Ireland. They've got a throw in and it's head of the way. And now Greenwood is breaking. Foden ends up playing the ball through for PSA and it's 3 0. And PSA, just like that, has broke the record for the most goals in a single tournament. He doesn't need the extra round, he's already got it. Greenwood tackled. Very well by Highland there, but then Foden just plays it through to PSA, who, in fairness, 
Curran probably was going to be able to cover him. So he just hit it from range and ends it that way. We're actually going to lower the tempo now. Just try, try to start the phase of seeing the game out because we're more than comfortable at this stage. Sirkin has managed to get a cross in and Sancho does really well to get a block in there but there was an offside. As you can see we've managed the squad a bit better than what Ireland have because they've got players already looking quite knackered and our team looks still very fit at the moment. I think what we are going to do though is we're going to bring PSA off for Brock just because he's got his goal to make him the record holder and we just want to make sure he's available in the next round. Dingwall and Rice exchanging the ball now. We go back down the wing with Sancho. He sends it inside, finds Rice. And it's gone out to Howarth on the right-hand side. Sends it in Greenwood. On the turn, it's four. Mason Greenwood adding another goal to his tally for England. He's into the 90s, I know that. I'm not sure how far into the 90s. But Howarth finds Greenwood, who just on the turn buries it in that far corner. And it's back out to Greenwood again now, who sends it to Howarth. Ball's gone in, and it's fell to Greenwood again nicely, and that's his hat-trick. Get him off. Actually, he's fit enough. We'll, we'll keep him on. Just for fun. We'll bring Mount on for Bellingham. That was one person who was looking a little bit tired. I'm not too concerned about Rice being a bit tired because he's going to be uh, rested in the next game anyway. And I think for our final change, we might just... We're going to get Iron off because we need that injury to go away. We're saying Godfrey on. And hopefully that in, that little knock for Iron won't be... Too bad and he'll be alright. Greenwood plays it back to Rice. He sends it out to Dingwall. Who's going to take on his man. And ends up losing the ball. And the clearance, Rice deals with it. And just lays it back off to Tamori. We look so in control of this game. We're going to start the time wasting. Lower the tempo again. And this is all just in the idea of not exerting ourselves so that we, yeah, we're, we're more than comfortable and we're just going to make sure we don't run them into the ground. Quite a few of these players may well be rested in the next round, but 5-0 win, Greenwood with a hat-trick, Foden and PSA getting on the score sheet as well. Absolutely fantastic performance there. And what we will do now is we're going to go and see how we get on in the quarter final. And here we are, quarter final time. We're against France. We've gone back to our strongest 11. So it's Ramsdale in goal. Back for Howarth, Iron, Tamori, and Tong. Alexander Arnold in the hold of midfield. Bellingham and Foden in front of him, and then the usual front fee of San uh, Greenwood, Sancho, and PSA. France, obviously, much stronger competition for us. Probably expect them to be, you know, like Spain should have been. I don't expect to walk over them at all. I think we've got enough about us to beat them, the form we've been in but it is going to be a tougher game. Although the ball's gone towards the far post and Greenwood is offside. Very nearly another uh, 
lead for us. But we're going to have the check here. It has been disallowed. Where are the lines? Oh, it's very close, although we can't actually see Greenwood. But very nearly a perfect start 15 minutes into the game. We've now got a highlight. It started with France in control, but PSA has intercepted the pass there. And he's driven forward and he's had a go. And Meslier forced to punch the ball over the bar. Trent with the corner. It's aimed towards PSA but headed the way. And then Essor is the first man to it. Howarth forced to just bring him down and break up that counter-attack. But nothing given to him in terms of cards. I think that probably would be a yellow card the way he did it, but we don't care. We're going to encourage them. Not really got going in this game. Our now with a free kick for France. Plays it short and a very important block, block by Howarth there at the near post. Ends up for a corner. Our's going to send this one in again. He's gone to the far post and... There was a free header and Ramsdale with the save. We're now looking at what changes we might need to make in the second half. Sancho has really struggled to get into this game. I'm almost tempted to bring him off now, but I think we'll give him we'll give him ten minutes in the second half and see what happens. No, he's just dropping further down on the rating, so we're going to send Rashford on in his place. We're going to bring Tong off because he's got a knock, and we're going to demand more. And I think we're going to send uh, Mason Mount on as well in midfield. I don't want Greenwood and PSA to come off if possible because we know how good they are. We've got a late free kick. Rashford sending it in. Greenwood's in there and he's hit the bar. And PSA just wasn't quick enough to go and get the ball as it broke free. Rashford intercepted an attempt to get it to Mbappe. And he's a fresh man. Got a chance to run it up and Meccano sends it in. PSA's in there. PSA's hit the bar but he was offside. And it looks like we might be going to extra time here. Which isn't ideal. But it is going to happen. Let's tell them we've been the better team. And we need to make a change somewhere. I'm almost, I think in Foden, but... Maybe we try... No. I don't want... Godfrey on for Foden. That... Oh, I'm conflicted. Let's send. Let's go to half time and extra time, actually. Let's see if anything happens in these next 15 minutes. My problem is I, if I bring Foden off, I'm taking off a potential penalty taker. And a game changer. Rashford with the free kick. Oh, what a save from the keeper. I kind of feel the same about Greenwood. Ball's gone short to Alexander-Arnold. And, oh, another good save from the keeper. Mount was offside, though. That was Those ones annoy me when they do that. Take a corner and pass it back to the corner taker. And he's still offside now. Um, We're going to make the change now. I think we are going to have to take off. Oh, I'm really conflicted here. I'm very conflicted. I'm going to 
you know what, we're just going to bring Godfrey on for Tamori and just hope that out of front for it, I, I think they're our best penalty takers. So it doesn't make sense to me to bring them off at this stage. And we have gone to penalties. <laughs> the only one that probably could have come off is PSA. He's not great at penalties. But we are going to move him up the order a bit. Don't regret this moment. That's a putting a bit of pressure on them, isn't it? Mbappe is first up against Ramsdale and scores, which means it's Rashford up for us now. And he misses. Oh dear. Enga stepping up for France now. And he buries his chance. And it's now Mason Mount stepping up. How's he going to do? It's saved. Hogwell stepping up now for France. And if he scores this, it's basically all over as far as I'm concerned. Ramsdale makes a save though. Gives us just a glimmer of hope. Alexander Arnold needs to score to keep that hope alive. Ah, that that's it as far as I'm concerned. Game over. We we can't bounce back from that. We need Ramsdale to pull off another two saves to have a chance. I it's game over, unfortunately. Morin is gonna step up here. And, yeah, game over. The penalties were really poor. And we go out to France. I mean, shock and, shock and horror, England go out on penalties. Who saw that one come in? Well... That went a bit wrong. Hopefully we don't get sacked as England manager. That was a really poor way to end up going out of the competition. Does it have what we were expected? We were expected to reach the final, but they can understand why France knocked us out. So I don't think we're going to get sacked for that, the way that reads. We'll be back tomorrow with the Bayern Munich transfer roundup and the first game of the new season. If you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like, comment down below how you think we're going to get on in this new season. Where do you think I've strengthened? How much money do you think I've spent? And subscribe if you are enjoying the series. Thank you very much for watching.